test day. Midnight oil has been burned, pencils have been sharpened, laptops have been charged and recharged, and you get the picture. We all remember what math tests were like back in the day. Now let's sit through one that your kids have been taking. Okay, we're cheating a little because our expert math teacher, Chris, is actually taking the test for us. We're solving a sample problem from the park test, one of the two Common Core aligned tests that were funded by the DOE back in 2010. Here's the problem, which comes from a grade five level test. On Saturday, Craig rode his bike five eighths of a mile. On Sunday, he rode his bike one half of a mile. Craig added five eighths and one half to find the total distance in miles he rode his bike on the two days. Craig said five eighths plus one half equals six tenths and plotted six tenths on the number line. Now, Craig is obviously not down with his fractions and is adding them all wrong. It's a flawed reason and example. So not only do we want students to be able to recognize when something's wrong, we want them to be able to tell us why it's wrong and then how you correct that. The test question is in three parts. The first is, explain why Craig's answer is not reasonable. The second is, find the total distance in miles Craig rode his bike on Saturday and Sunday. And the third is to explain how to use the number line to show your answer is correct. Take it away, Chris. So a fraction is a number between zero and one in this instance. So while we understand the whole, we wanna know that if I look at this number line, I have eight equal parts. Remember Craig rode his bike five eighths of a mile on Saturday? Then we know that all I needed to do is count my five equal parts. And then on Sunday, he ran one half of a mile. So if I keep my same denominator, if my whole is eight equal parts, then I know that one whole is eight eighths and half of eight eighths is four eighths. Now we count and plot the additional four eighths of a mile on the number line. Of course he goes over the one mile mark. And if I look at the model, the number line, it's easy for me to see that that's one mile and one eighth. Now let's get back to that first question. Why is Craig's answer all wrong? He says he biked six tenths of a mile. The model helped me to see that he ran over one mile, so his answer would be unreasonable. So on the park test, we want kids not only to give us the right answer, but we also want them to have practice with flawed reason and examples. What is that incorrect thinking? What is the correct answer? And how do I solve that problem using the model? Hopefully Craig knows how to do fractions now.